This is me, Nathan Wrigley. It's a WP Builds contribute episode, and today we've got Bradley. Bradley Kirby. Oh, Hello, Bradley. I oh, know I need to press another button, Bradley. Hold on. Right, I'm going to press oh, that sorry. button. Yay! Look, the technology. <laughs> I don't know if it's don't know if it's working for everybody else, but it sure is working for me. Bradley, um, Bradley has come on because. Bradley has a fabulous product for Beaver Builder called Wallace in Line. Bradley, why on earth is it called Wallace? A good question. Uh, it was originally actually the name of a theme that I made. Um, and the, the sort of the purpose of the theme was going to be that it was going to have really nice uh, uh, footnotes, believe it or not. And, and that's connected because uh, Wallace, uh, David Foster Wallace is my favorite author. Okay. And he always writes a lot of footnotes. So it's like six levels of of separation to call it Wallace but there's loads of Wallace significance <laughs> but yeah yeah if you've never yeah, if you've never me. played with Wallace in line well Bradley built this I'm gonna say a year ago something like that um, yep, been, to uh, yeah, you last to, November yeah, yeah um to enable you to do inline editing uh with Beaver Builder which at the time was revolutionary because it didn't exist now of course it's kind of part of Beaver Builder but Wallace in line uh, adds a whole bunch of extra functionality um, so Bradley's going to just sort of show us some of the new stuff that he's got in there. He's got a few bits and pieces organized. Um, if anybody wants to drop in a question, do it and I'll, I'll ask him, but I'll probably leave it until the end. Um, so I'm going to press this button and that should just put you up. Now you might want to share your screen, Bradley, so that we can Alrighty. see, yep, I'll see do what's going on. I have, um, whilst Bradley's getting his screen going on, I have this thing called Stream Deck. It, it is called Stream Deck, and that's what I'm pushing the buttons on. I got it the other day, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> very, very fancy. Yeah, it is. It is fancy. So I've got your, now. what I presume is your desktop there. Um, I think so. It should say wooden, wooden beaver. That's here. it. We got it. I don't know if you can enlarge yeah. that so that it fills the the area at all. Yay! I'll watch that a bit. Great. That'll okay. do it. Yeah, it's looking really good. Very good. Yeah. So, oh, let's go for it. Let's tell all these good folk about Wallace in Line and what it does. Yeah, so if you're uh, not familiar with, you never heard of it before, Wallace in Line is a client-friendly editor. So it's built for web agencies to hand off to their clients uh, that you built them a Beaver Builder website and you use Wallace in line to, to tell them to um, edit their site with it. And it provides a really nice um, fluid interface for them to edit it. And for you, it allows you to like very finely grain control over what they can edit. Um, so once you're logged into the site, you activate it by clicking this button right up here. And then this um, little control panel pops up it's small. It's meant to be like very like like not many options, like very low key. And then you see um, these little boxes pop up uh, where you can edit. And kind of like the the bread and butter like basic um, basic operation here is editing this text. So you just click here and edit the text just like that. And that's going to be probably like eighty ninety percent of what your clients are going to use it for. Um, and it's it's very simple. You just edit that like that. And then this done button changes contextually based on what's happening. Uh, and so it's turned from transparent to blue here. And then to publish, uh, just click done, and then you can review it. And then uh, if you click the publish button, it'll publish it like that very, very simply. And then you can close it. And um, just, to, just to prove I'm not doing some uh, client-side trickery, we can refresh the page here and see that the, uh, our edits are intact. And so, kind of, that's the that's like the base level thing. But and then it just expands from there through different uh, content types and and even different um, data types uh, across the Beaver Builder ecosystem. Kind of the big the big goal that I have um, is to is to make it work with any tool any tool chain that exists in Beaver Builder. So whether you're using Beaver Themer headers and footers, or whether you're using uh, Pods custom fields and anything that's output on the site. You can just edit seamlessly, no matter what is the kind of the tool chain behind that, and that just gets uh, that way. You don't have to train your clients on 
on whatever tool chain you put together. Mm. Uh, they can just they can just see the content, whether it be an image or text or a background image or icon or a link, and they can just edit it. And so, wow, that's pretty ambitious. It is ambitious. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work too, getting everything, uh, getting everything working with all these different all these different plugins and all these different companies that are themselves constantly updating and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but I think it makes a real difference to uh, a client and a real difference to an agency that's, that's managing lots of clients. Um, but let's go in here and if you don't mind, Nathan, unless you have other ideas, then feel free to interject. No, that's fine. I think you take the helm and I'll, um, I'll watch in, and enjoy it and um, interrupt as and, as and when I see fit. Sure. Sure. Okay, so let's open up the editor here. I'm going to show off um, image editing. And so this is actually a foreground image. This template, by the way, is just a stock uh, Beaver Builder template. Um, and this is like a transparent foreground image. And so we can click this, and we can edit this. We can edit this foreground image to whatever we want. We can mm -hmm. put uh, a nice WP builds. Oh, the old there. the old logo, well, very nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is, it is the old logo. The new one is much improved. <laughs> uh, and so you see that that's laid out in the foreground there. But also, and this is this is pretty cool. Um, if we click this, we get a, a contextual button that pops up here. And so if you if you go to this, go to some other piece of text, it it might uh, go away, maybe, but. This button, what this, what that button means, is that you can edit the uh, the background image. So you oh, okay. Background image here. So we click this, and we can put in a background image. Let's put in some. Uh, ah, nice. Here. And now the background image scrolls, and so you can even if you have images overlaid on images, that's still possible for you and your clients to edit, and you can just publish this like. Uh, Good. We did normally refresh the page. Oh, well, something something has gone wrong with the background image. But it worked temporarily. Image. It was working. It worked temporarily. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's. I think I'm, I'm using an out of date version of uh, of Beaver Builder here. So I think that might be the reason why that why that didn't stick. Um. But yeah, images work just right alongside text. So if we scroll down here, I'm going to show you the other uh, other thing here. So this um, this block here is a is a link. This is a um, mm -hmm. a ultimate add-ons uh, info list uh, module. And so so this is a the whole thing is a link. And so you see that'll uh, goes goes to the link when the when the builder isn't active. Um, but when the editor is active, we can edit the text without going to the link. And actually another contextual pop-up pops up here where you, you can edit the link. It'll show you what link is behind uh, that module. And so that won't, right. that, won't, that won't show up when that's not active. But when you're editing this, you see, oh, well, there's a, there's a link here and the link is active for the whole, the whole module. And if we want, we can paste in, um, paste in some other link. And so you see how it updates Yep. Updates here after you pasted it, and then you can publish that, and you see the link has changed. Yeah, nice. Okay, so it's figuring out that there's a link over there. The info um, that module by Ultima Addons is amazing. It can do just about anything. Um, but that's great. Yeah, you don't need. So, I mean, I suppose the takeaway from this is that there's no Beaver Builder menu anywhere in sight, is there? You are there's nothing showing from Beaver Builder at all so far. That's right. Yeah, the the, the idea is that the the client won't need to go into Beaver Builder or yep. even know anything about Beaver Builder. Yeah. So the way that I think about this conceptually is that Beaver Builder is a design tool, and then Wallace Inline is an editing tool. Mm -hmm. And so what your clients really your clients probably um, based on my conversations with most web agencies, your clients probably don't need a design tool because your job as the agency is to do the design work. Um, but but at the same time, they 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 have needs themselves that change, and so they need to change the content in their sites uh, quite often, a lot more often than they would want to change the design. Mm. And so, so having 
having a tool meant specifically for editing um, is a really powerful way to, to give your clients exactly what uh, they need and what they want uh, without distracting them or without allowing them capabilities that they don't. Um, let's say, for example, that you wanted to change um, slightly more than just the, the words. It, what are the capabilities in terms of changing, I don't know, let's say the font or the font weight or something like that? How does that look? So you can't change the font weight. So it, it's kind of a... Um, a tricky situation determining exactly what is content versus what is uh, design. But okay. where, I've, where I've drawn the line at the moment is if you can um, you can highlight over text and then you get this got it this menu up, and so you can you have permissions to uh, to italicize, bold, underline, uh, okay. and add and add inline links. Yep, actually that's kind of from a design point of view. If you've done the hard design work and you've you know, you've got all your CSS intact and you've got your fonts and everything sorted out so it all looks good. That's that's probably about all that you should get, really, in all honesty, <laughs> so that you yeah, don't end yeah. up with some mess of fonts, you know, mixed up all over the place. A um, bunch of fonts and different padding yep. sizes. Yep. And, and there's just, there's so much. Beer Builder is such a powerful design tool. Yeah. Um, and that's why we all love it. Yeah. But, but yep. for, for clients, it's, you don't necessarily need to give them all that power. Okay. So let me show you uh, one last thing, maybe here, a couple things, maybe. Um, let's talk about, we've been talking a lot about um, access control. And so what if you as the, as the client owner want to have them not edit even the text of a certain module? Well, that's what this uh, lock button here is for. So if you click this lock button, you see the border of the, of the field turns to red. And what that is signifying is that um, users with limited access to Wallace Online uh, won't be able to edit this. And I've actually given uh, Nathan a, uh, a, a limited access account to this uh, live site. And so if, you, if you're willing or able... Should we Nathan, try it? Should we try it? We could try it. Okay, do you need to, to save anything or is that just save, saved on the fly? So No, it's all saved, so you should be right, able to... Right, in which case, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my... Click on my link here. Uh, wait a sec. Let me just drag this out of the way. I'm just going to refresh my page here, I suppose. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, there it is. There's the logo that you added earlier. Now then, now then, now then. Okay. Let me find the bit that I'm not supposed to be able to edit. Is it that bit there? You probably can't see what I'm looking at. Um, so if okay. I click the live editor... Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, so the bit with the long beard as the title, I have no box, dotted box around the edge, whereas Lumberjack shirt next to it, let me just, um, I'm going to write Nathan, big letters. No Nathan construction, then I'm going to write Nathan here. As, no, I'm not, I'm going to write Bradley um, like that. But I cannot interact with this long beard section, so I'm going to click Don and publish and then I'm going to hand it back to you so I did my part I proved that it couldn't be edited now I'm interested to see whether my edits have come over onto your site when you refresh yay yeah. <laughs> how satisfying is that that's really sad isn't it <laughs> it's quite fun yeah yeah that's great that totally worked so I was that long beard section, I was totally unable to interact with. That's that's really nice. What are the um, what are the sort of permission models there? Is it um, you know basically on offable? You switch that lock on, you switch that lock off, and that's it. And you can do that for images as well as background images as well as text. How does that work? So yeah, right now it works for images and uh, text and um, and icons. Right. And I still I have yet to add. Uh, I'm still working on adding it for background images. Um, yeah, for background images. Okay. Uh, but, but for most of it, you can you can lock it down just like that. Yeah, and, and text is probably one of the big ones that you want to do anyway. Certainly from my point I of view. I think so. Clients, it's that's, text. That's, that's coming very soon, yeah. the ability to lock down anywhere. Yeah. And here's where you can actually control as the, as the uh, master account um, exactly who gets uh, what capability. And so... You see, you can assign them based on users and on roles, and so you can see this is the, all the um, all the roles with the full capability. You can 
uh, see here, and you can say like, oh, well, now I want authors to have full capability okay. as well. Yep. Or no, I don't want authors to have full capability. And then you could have editors have limited capability. So limited capability is what we just demonstrated. So you had a limited capability account as an editor. But Go then there's ahead. also, if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to uh, control based on role, you can also control based on individual user. Oh, good. So, and so, um, and and not just individual user, but it's it's the way it works is an individual user on an individual page. And so, with that, that's very very finely grained. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and actually, I had that was that came about because one of my customers, I was trying to build a directory site for a, like a small business directory. And he wanted um, the individual small businesses to have access to their individual pages, which he had uh, he built out like a template um, with some like starter content or whatever. And so then he gave them access to uh, Wallace Online single page limited capability so that only they could, could edit their own page and then they could use Wallace Online to uh, go through and, and edit the, the starter template he had set up for them. So it's almost like filling out like a like a Facebook page or something, just a very simple um, profile. But yeah. it was, it was so fine-grained access that you could he, he could trust a large number of people onto the site because you could define the, cap the define the permission so narrowly like that. Yeah, so you can sort of imagine a particular page having different sections. You know, like, I don't know. There's a marketing section to a page, and there's a another section below it. And you know, the marketing department, um, you put them in, and they can change that part of the home page, and the another department can change. You, you, you get the point. I mean, it's that's really mm -hmm. powerful. So it's it's done on user roles but also on a page-by-page -page basis by user names as well. And that's that's really right, cool. Yeah. Um, and what you're looking at there is, in effect, the padlock. Anything with the limited capability, once you flick the padlock on, that's enforced. Have I got that right? Yes, yep. yes. And obviously, if you if you have a limited account, you yourself can't lock down modules for other people. It's right. Only the, uh, well, yeah. It's only the full access that yep. has... You know, this it wouldn't show up. Yeah, um, for limited control. Are there any limitations in terms? Of, so the the popular we've got a whole bunch of popular things in Beaver Builder. Some things like, for example, Power Pack and um, Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder, plus a whole range of other things that have been brought out over the years. Um, are there any that you are happy to say yes, it works for the majority of those, or are there any way you say no, it's it's not working with those just yet? So it works for the majority of modules for Power Pack and Ultimate Add-ons. Um, the goal is 100% coverage. I think I'm at around 70, 75% coverage for those right now. Some mm -hmm. of the more complex and lesser used animation heavy modules that might not work with, but the, the basic bread and butter modules like you know, your info boxes, your info lists, that sort of thing, right. um, <clears throat> those work today. That's perfect. Right, okay. I think unless anybody um, wants to ask any questions, I'll tell you what I'll do is I will show you an offer. Um, I'm going to press another button. There we go. I've pressed the button. Look at that. Ha <laughs> um, ha. I've pressed the button and things have happened. So Bradley has kindly offered a, a, a deal. You can get yourself 20% uh, off Wallace in line if you use the code WP builds. Uh, so if you go to WP builds.com forward slash deals, you can see it on there. Uh, otherwise, just go to Bradley's checkout page. Um, if you Google Wallace in line, um, yeah, th th you'll find it there. Or like I say, go Wallace to WallaceInLine.com. Yeah, WallaceInLine.com. Oh, yeah. If you go to WPBuilds.com forward slash deals, you'll be able to find it there. I'll show you what that looks like because um, why not? Why not show you what that looks like? Uh, so WPBuilds.com forward slash deals and I've shoved it right in the top at the middle so it's about as got about as much notoriety as I can give it there we go there it is 20% off Wallace in line uh, right there right I have no questions Matthew has said that was great he said great video so that's quite nice to know uh, you, let's Matthew. put you put you back on the screen it should be me and you you might want to turn your screen sharing off if you can figure out how to do that um and and i'll say yeah unless any questions come through in the next 20 or 30 seconds we'll knock it on the head but yeah go go check it out wallaceinline.com 
if you want to make life a lot easier for yourself when you hand over your websites to your clients. Lock down what they can and can't do um, and just make your life a whole lot easier. Nice one, Bradley. I don't think we've got any questions coming in, so I'll um, I'll click stop. All righty. Take care. Thanks so much for having me on. It was no, great talking no to you as always. Great. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.